Now I'm going to do access cavity preparation of maxillary first molar. So after studying the preoperative radiograph, I know that there's a big pulp chamber on this tooth. I will now start with my access cavity preparation, initial preparation using round burr number four. I'll start at the center. When I have penetrated uh, about three millimeters, now I'm going to change my round burr into a small one and it should be long chunk to be able to fill in the drop. Now I have changed the round burr into a long chunk and small round burr. Okay, that's the drop. So once you have felt the drop, I will still continue using the same round burr with in and out, okay, going towards the buccal and then the palatal and also mischal and then this side. I'll continue this until I feel that there's no more coaching. I'm still using the long shank round burr, but I have changed it to a little bigger one since it can now get inside. Okay, then I'll go towards the buckle. Make sure it is with the long axis of the tooth to avoid gouging. Continue this until you don't feel any cuts anymore. Okay, so after I have unroofed it, I'm now going to smoothen the walls using the long tapering fissure burr. So after you have smoothened up the walls, try to locate the orifices, okay, using the endo explorer. And then after that, you use your size 15, okay, can go in. So one canal, another canal, and the palatal canal. Okay, that's it. This is the maxillary first molar access cavity preparation. Thank you.